All right, so I am wanting to show you in this video uh, how the how the definition for tangent is related to uh, well the other definition of tangent. So a tangent line, all right? What is what is a tangent line? It's a line that like barely crosses something. Actually, here let me look at of a circle. So a tangent line on a circle. It's this line here, AB, that just barely touches uh, the circle, and it's always outside of your circle itself. So it's a line that just barely kisses the uh, the circle. And something to notice here, uh, where the tangent line intersects with the circle, at this little intersection point, you get a right angle. Right? So no matter where I move that point, there's always a right angle happening here. All right, even over here, all right, you're getting a right angle where the circle intersects with that tangent line. All right. uh, so we already know that the x value of you know, the point on the unit circle is related to cosine and the y value is equal to sine. And we know that tangent is equal to sine over cosine, but that doesn't have anything to do with you know, this other definition for tangent. So I'm hoping to you know, kind of show you that the tangent line thing where it just barely touches something, it still has to do with our right triangles and everything and the unit circle. So here I go. I've got a, I took a little screenshot of that, uh, you know, of this thing. About right there is where I took the screenshot at. Uh, there are two triangles, all right, that you could be looking at. So of course we have our green triangle, all right? And if I were to, if I was to say, oh, the tangent of theta, you would tell me that it's equal to the opposite over the adjacent, which would be sine over cosine, and that's true, that is true. But what I want you to do is I want you to look at this big, big triangle, uh, triangle OPF, that overall huge big triangle. And because, because a tangent line intersects with the circle at a right angle, well, yay, we ended up with this, we end up with a right triangle. Nice. So because we have a right triangle, we can play our right triangle trigonometry game and all those things that go along with it. So this time, whenever I ask for tangent of theta, let's look at the big triangle. All right, tangent of theta is going to be opposite, which is going to be the the length opposite angle theta, which is this whole PF business over there, that big long piece. And the adjacent side, well, OF is the, the hypotenuse, so the adjacent is going to be OP. Yeah, it's OP. Uh, and that is, well, that one actually we know. That one has a length of 1, and that's because we're dealing with our unit circle. So what I can say now is that tangent of theta is equal to PF divided by 1, or I could just say tangent is equal to PF. That is our definition. That is the other way to think about tangent as it relates to a unit circle. Uh, tangent is the distance from whatever point that you're talking about on the unit circle to the x-axis, all right? So from, from the point on the unit circle to the x-axis, that's the definition for tangent. Okay. So as I go around my unit circle, well, that distance from P to the x-axis is going to keep changing over and over and over, depending on whatever angle. As I get closer, as this angle gets closer to zero, that distance is getting closer and closer to zero until... You know, they're right on top of each other. <laughs> I have a tangent line to the circle, and it just so happens that the distance from point P to my x-axis is zero. That's why tangent of zero is zero. Uh, if I look at 45 degrees right here, my radius is a 1. Okay? My radius is a 1, and because I have a 45-degree angle, 
that means that my other line segment, let me see if I can turn this around here. Yeah. That means my other line segment, this side, is also equal to 1 because it's a 45, 45, 90. So that's why tangent of 45 is equal to 1. This red length right here, or orange length, is equal to 1. Uh, as I get closer and closer to 90 degrees, you see how my, my tangent line from, from P to my x-axis, that distance is getting really big. All right. Once I get up here to like 90 degrees, they're parallel to each other. And so my red line never crosses my x-axis. And therefore, we would say it's undefined. And that's why uh, tangent of 90 degrees is undefined. Okay. Uh, and I guess you could still play the game this way. All right. Uh, that tangent is going to be over here on the left side. Yeah, this has to do with you know quadrants more than anything. That's we're we're still going to think of tangent mostly as it relates to sine and cosine. That's really the best way to think of it. All right. Let me pause this for a second. I'll pull up. Uh, I'm going to pull up secant and cosecant here. All right. So uh, here on con, they have a nice little chart for uh, for the other trig functions. So tangent is that distance from the point to the x-axis. Uh, cotangent is the distance from that point to the y-axis. All right, same idea. All right. uh, secant. Let me look at secant here. All right, so first off, cosine is the x value of that point, right? Cosine is the x value of that point. Uh, secant, it's the reciprocal of cosine. That's the one that's related to cosine. Uh, the definition for secant on the unit circle it's the x value where the tangent line is intersecting with the x-axis. All right, so where that tangent line crosses the x-axis, secant is that x value. Uh, sine, same rules apply. Uh, you know, sine is your y value. Cosecant is your reciprocal of sine. And so where the line intersects with the y-axis up here, that's cosecant. Okay. So I know this is probably a confuzzled mess, but that's the definition for, that's the reason why they call these things tangent is because it has to do with this line that just barely touches the unit circle. It's tangent to it. All right, that's good.